Alright, time to put on our thinky hats and see how smart we are with trivia. But thankfully for this one, we don't have to answer the form of a question. No, nope, we are uh, going to be playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on the Nintendo Switch for this next segment. So let's see how this goes, shall we? contestant and let's get started right away. Well, you know the money ladder. 15 questions and at the top, the million. Alright, let's see how this goes, shall we? Our first question for a hundred dollars. Which of these animals question. is a bird, a butterfly, an ostrich, a bee, a buck. B. And I don't mean B as in the uh, answer uh, choice there for uh, the fern one. B as in B. Ostrich. Final answer. And what will be your final answer? That's my final answer. Oh, I can't wait to see the correct answer. But you are right. That just goes to show that my memory is still in good shape. Two hundred dollars now. Our team of editors offers. What's the name of the platform that Disney day. launched in November 2019 to compete with Netflix? Disney Plus, Disney Channel, Disney XD, Disney Flix. Uh, A. Disney Plus. I'm final say answer. A. So this is your final answer? Oh, yes, that's my final answer. The choice is made. You got it right, well done. One more right answer. <laughs> My goodness, what talent. <laughs> Here's a new question for you. In what country is the Statue of Liberty located? Japan? The United States? Germany? Russia? I the United the States, United final I answer. No doubt. You seem to be convinced, but is this your final answer? Um, that's my final answer. You have given your final answer. Now is the time to see the right one. That's an answer I can get behind. Oh, what a relief! Are you ready for this new question? What's Dumbo's problem in the movie? His eyes are too big. His legs are too long. His ears are too big. His trunk is too big. Uh, it's his ears that are too big. Yes, C, C, final answer. Okay, C. And what will be your final answer? That's my final answer. Oh, I can't wait to see the correct answer. Of course. See, experienced contestants always win the day. 
thousand dollar question Just coming up. And your what animal is often described question. as a chicken feet? A dog? A fox? A sheep? A cat? Ooh, that's a bit of a tough one. A chicken feet. That is a bit of a tough one, actually. Uh, let's see what the audience says. Okay, audience, big one here. Pick up those keypads and enter your votes now. Alright, 76% say fox. So, B, final answer. Final answer? You sure? Um, that's my final answer. The choice is made. It's time to discover the right answer. You got there. Right on. All right, a thousand dollars guaranteed. I think so Hunter's gonna get at least a thousand dollars from this game. Question. Two thousand dollar question coming up. Where were the Celts from? Europe, Asia, America, Africa. Uh, Celtics, um, I think that's Europe. A, final answer. A, final? That's my final answer. Oh, I can't wait to see the correct answer. Yep, Europe. But you are Europe right. is indeed correct. That just so that's good for $2,000. My memory is still in good shape. Now let's go to the next question, if you don't mind. What's the name of the author of The Hunger Games? Suzanne Collins, J.K. Rowling, Katniss Everdeen, Hermione Granger. Uh, it's definitely not Rowling or Granger, because Rowling offered the Harry Potter books, and Granger's a character in the Harry Potter books. Uh, let's see, either Collins or Everdeen. 50-50. Uh, okay, let's take away two incorrect answers. Okay, Suzanne Collins, A, I final say, answer. A. Is that your final? That'll be my final answer. You have made your choice. I have never read The Hunger Games. Alright, the 50 50 health. The game is off to a good start, but you shouldn't stop there. $8,000. In horseback riding, what's the rider's headgear called? A helmet? A bonnet? A cap? A bomb? Uh, rider's headgear. I think it's a bomb. Uh, I honestly don't know. You decide oh. to play the lifeline. Let's phone a friend. friend. Hope you will call the right person. Uh, let's go with. Yes, hello. I'm listening. Good evening. This is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and Pablo needs your wisdom. Well, I'm going to do my best bet. Zelda, you're my last hope on this one, but don't put too much pressure on yourself, okay? Not too much. I would say D, but it's still risky. She says a bomb, and that's what I was thinking originally. D, final answer. D, I think. I I'm choosing D. Final? Yes, that's my final answer. If this is your... Is that correct? Answer, let's hope it's the correct answer. Yes, it is. Right. Well done. That just goes to show... Alright, $8,000. We're going for 16000 now. Here's the next question. Here comes the next question. Are you ready to face the traps of this next What's another question? name for a fennec? Good luck to you. Prairie dog? 
Forest Cat, Desert Fox, Alpine Lobster. <laughs> I think that's a Desert Fox. It's either that or Prairie Dog. Um, you know what? I'm gonna. So let's change the I'm gonna question. Jump. I'm gonna switch, switch the question. Lifeline well used. Desert Fox. Okay. Alright, $32,000. Now that you've released the pressure, here's a new question. From what country did the inventor of judo, Jigoro Kano, come? France? China? South Korea? Japan? Ooh. Um, I don't think it's France. I'm gonna say South Korea. Right answer. I would stake my life on it. You had to make a choice. Is that your final answer? I don't think it's France. I That's don't think it's China. Final answer. You have given your final answer. I hope it is, is the right South Korea one. correct? It was I Japan. This is not the right answer. Sorry. Well, well, the old geezer messed up again. It was an incredible run. Great game. All right, so a thousand dollars. And that will conclude this segment. We'll see you all again for the next one soon.